What is up, boys and girls? It's been some time since I did a PlayStation Vita um, video. Um, I've been sitting on this for around, I don't know, five days now, about a week. Um, I actually found someone who compiled the whole game from the Android version. This is an Android um, game, so don't don't bust my balls because I decided not to do the um, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown stories because it was an Android um, version. I might just do it now since I found out that this is the uh, Bully Anniversary Edition, um, but it's from the Android. So I might. So yeah, whatever. But at any rate, um, you don't need to do anything. All you have to do is transfer the VPK file over and transfer over the Bully folder to the UX0 slash data folder. Install the VPK file and just run the game. That's it. I did all the heavy lifting. I found the file f f for you guys. Uh, the file will be uploaded to my Google Drive. Um, any questions, just ask. Um, please keep in mind, I'm running on 3.60 modded um, PlayStation Vita Slim. Um, what you're going to be needing um, are two files, which will be included within the zip folder called the QBridge. Dot skprx and the fd underscore fix dot skprx. Now, if you don't have these installed, you're more than welcome to do it manually. Um, but then you're going to need to enter in a line of code within the config dot txt um, file, or you could always go to auto plugin two and install both of these files automatically. And auto plugin two will write the code in the config.txt um, file um, itself automatically. So it's totally up to you. Um, what you don't want to do is don't install the FD fix. Um, if you're using repatch plugin, don't do that. Um, you're more than welcome to install the PSV shell. It's uh, to overclock your device to 500 megahertz. Or you could also, this is also optional, you can install the cap unlocker to use the fourth core. I'm not really too sure what that is, um, but you're more than welcome to check it out and use it. Um, I don't overclock anything, so I didn't do that. So let's uh, let's get started. Here's the website link that I'm um, going to leave in the description below. This is where if you want to compile the game yourself, download the VPK and the data um, files right here. You're more than welcome to if you want to take a stab at it. Um, without using my .zip file, um, which is going to include the game already compiled for you. So you just need to install the game and drag and drop a few files in a folder and uh, you're good to go. Remember, this is the first edition, just came out seven days ago. Um, please, please remember to check back to see if there's any updates on the GitHub page or that website that I just showed you. Because um, I'm sure there's going to be updates that are going to be coming out soon to improve control visuals you name it whatever um, right here is the setup instructions um, like I said earlier about the uh, two files you need to be using um, you can do it auto plugin or you can always do it manually um, just drag and drop the two files over and then edit your config.txt um, file it's totally up to you um, please take notice of the notice right in front of you right on the screen um, so this is the GitHub page. Um, you download from here instead, or you could download from the two previous screens earlier um, of the two files. It's totally up to you guys. Um, but other than that, that's what it is. It's easy enough, and let's get started. All right, I'm showing you the folder um, of the game. Um, the three files that you're going to be need are right there, the VPK, the SKPRX, um, both files if you don't have them installed. Um, I'm pretty sure you need those two FD fix and the QBridge for to run the Grand Theft Auto games and the Max Payne games. So if you don't have them installed, um, like I said, use Auto Plugin Two, do it automatically, or you could always um, do it manually yourself and then remember to enter the line of code into the config.txt file within the Vita shell. Right now, I'm just browsing through the different folders that are within the Bully folder itself. Um, just make sure things are there. Um, I already compared files and folders um, to screenshots from online. 
everything is there and accounted for. So what you need to do is just um, more than welcome to use a USB method um, to transfer files over. Or you could use the FTP method, which I love to use. I think it's quicker, but that's my opinion. Um, I use FileZilla, which I'm going to open right now, as you can tell. And once that's opened, um, I'm going to um, stop recording, and I'm going to head over to the PlayStation Vita, boot that up, and get the IP address. All right, now my PlayStation Vita is booted up. Swipe to enter the dashboard or desktop, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't used my Vita in some time, so I actually updated my auto plugin too because there was an update for it. What you want to go to is the Vita shell. And from here, I hit start. And you're more than welcome to use the FTP method, like I said earlier, or the USB. Totally up to you guys. I use the FTP. Next, you want to hit select. And once you hit select, the um, IP address comes up with the numbers. What you want to do is go back to FileZilla and enter in those numbers. All right, now back over to the PC side of things. I'm going to enter in the IP address that the PlayStation Vita gave us. Um, if you're using a, um, FileZilla, just copy me. Um, but there's other um, file transfer protocol um, applications out there, programs. You can use Qt FTP, which is a good program as well. Um, once you're in the, um, your Vita, you want to go down to UX0. You can drag and drop the VPK file anywhere in that root folder, or if you already created a folder within the UX0, you could drag and drop that into the VPK folder if you want to keep things nice and neat and tidy, like I do. Next, you want to go to the UX0 slash data. Now you want to right-click and upload, or you're more than welcome to hold the mouse button down and drag and drop that whole folder um, into the data folder. Um, this is going to take a little while, so I'll speed up the process and catch you on the flip side. All right, we're on the PlayStation Vita side of things. You're more than welcome to close out of the IP prompt there. Go down to UX0, and you're going to install the VPK file called Bully. It takes like 20 seconds to install. It's not that bad. Sit back, relax, grab a cold beer, smoke a joint. Once that's installed, I'm just showing you that the data folder has the Bully folder within the data folder. So it's there. It transferred completely fine. What you want to do is, you're more than welcome to reboot. I like to reboot, but it's totally up to you guys. Once it's rebooted and swiped to enter the dashboard or the desktop, scroll down to where you find Bully. Now I'm going to leave this um, cutscene in. Um, just showing you that it does work. Um, within that GitHub page I showed you, that I'll be leaving a link down below. It tells you it's going to take three minutes for everything to get loaded. Um, there's a file called .idx that needs to be generated and created. So please don't get frustrated and don't start writing me, What the fuck? What the fuck? It's not working. Um, it does work, as you'll see, but it just takes three minutes, unfortunately. And the start of the game, it takes probably around a minute to load in, but it does work. Um... 
I th I'll just I'll just speed this up, but it does take a little time to load in. So, from here, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to shut up and stop talking. Um, and let this play out. Thank you for um, everything, for the views, for the dislikes, likes. If you like, you like, if you like this, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Um, I will tell you, if anybody knows the comedian Jim Norton, um, he's on Sirius XM Radio. Um, he used to be on the Opie and Anthony show. Now he does um, Jim and Sam on Sirius XM. If you Google Jimmy Norton, comedian, he reminds me of um, the main character of this video game. He just looks like him. To me, he does. Um, remember, I'm on firmware 3.60, hacked. Um, if you have any questions, um, I'll leave the Reddit links down below so you guys can write to them because they're more knowledgeable than I am. Um, about why something works and doesn't work. Um, remember, every PlayStation Vita is totally different from everybody else's. Different install files, different whatever, you name it. So I'll leave it as is. I'll let this play out. And uh, I guess I'll catch you around in the next video sometime. So please enjoy. Thank you so much.
sometimes feel like it's just not worth it, you know? Thank you. Acknowledging the problem is the first step. Can I say one more thing? Why? Yeah, I went to the girls' dorm stupid. last night. Child, 